Hey guys, it's your girl Anastasia. Look what I just got on the mail. Let's unbox it. Whoa! This is a set of watercolor brush markers. Wow, the colors look so cute. The set got a lot of different shades and they look so nice. So here are these markers. This is a set of 80 pieces STA brush markers. They are water based and got two nibs. One brush nib and the other is fine nib. Here is the brush nib. And this is a fine nib. Ok, let's move on to swatches and I'm going to do a few test drawings. But at first I want to switch the colors a bit. In the first section I will put only orangey, yellow and pink tones, the second section will be blue tones mostly, the third section will be greys and browns, and the last four sections will be greens. It looks much better now. And now, finally, I'm going to do swatches, I'm going to test my new markers, yay! I will be using this Canson Montreal Aquarel pad. I think it's the best watercolor papers that I have right now, that I really tested in total. That's why I'm going to do swatches on it. Guys, if you have any suggestions on good watercolor paper, but not too expensive, it will be much appreciated. First that I want to mention is that video is not sponsored, but the site banggood.com connected me and asked me if I would like to do a review of this product and of course I said yes. You know I used watercolor paints before but I never tried watercolor based markers, so it will be very cool experience for me. But don't worry, it will be my honest opinion. By the way, right now, Banggood shop running Prime Sale Storm till the July 24, so go check it out, I will put link to these markers and to other their products to description box below. And also, you can download Banggood app to get extra 10% off. Just a quick look on a brush nib, it looks the same like in my alcohol based markers. Here is the comparison side by side with Touch New Brush Marker. Seems like they made from the same material. So here's water and my brushes. Let's test how it's going to work with water. I will pick this pretty color. You can see that it blends as well, but anyway, it leaves the stroke that you apply the first. But maybe it depends on paper too. And now I'm going to apply these markers on top of wet paper. Let's check how these colors mix together. I'm going to pick orange and yellow shades. They are mixing without any problems. And the color became orange in total. I think I need to add more yellow. Look how beautiful this gradient is. And now I think I'm going to do a big test drawing. I think I'm going to draw a flower using these markers, but I don't want to do any sketching. I will make the flowers in such pinkish orangey shades. Now I'm going to apply some water and I'm going to plant these flowers from edges to the center. I like such effect. Now I want to draw more flowers and leaves in such technique. First I want to add leaves in different colors. I already prepared these five shades. And then after it I will blend everything with water. But really, I like how it looks now. I could leave it like that too. It turned out like cute Easter egg made from flowers. And now I want to do the second test drawing. It will be more detailed and I already did a sketch and line art. 
I was using references of flowers that I took by myself this summer. Also, I want to try a few different techniques. By the way guys, sorry, I was using phone to film this drawing from this angle and I didn't notice it that the lightning was jumping all over the video. And now I can't do anything with that. And now a few words about my very first serious drawing with these watercolor based markers. At first I added every color that I wanted, then I blended everything with water and after it, while the drawing was still wet, I went in with a deep pink shade to add some shadows. And after my flower was dry, I went once more to add some mid-tones with a pink shade. I think the flower came out very cute. I like such effect, but now I will try a different technique. First I will apply all shades and after it I will blend everything with water. But I don't want to add anything on top after it. I just want to check how it's going to look in that way. After it's going to dry, I will go once more with dark shade to add some shadows. Also, while it's still wet, I want to add some pink shades closer to the other flower, like to connect these two flowers. And now I'm going to add some shadows with this dark yellow shade. The paper not dried completely, but I like such effect. And now time to color the last third flower. I will try to color it by sections. Like the lightest one is going to be pink and orangey and the darkest one is going to be deep pink. And final touch is shadows. This is very bright pink. I can leave white spaces and after it I will blend everything with wet brush, so it's not a problem. I like such technique because you can achieve like very interesting look. Just let the watercolor mix together and flow like it want. You could blend more carefully the places that you don't like. You can wash out some color just with pure water. I think it turned out very cute. And now the last touch, I'm going to color the leaves. Oops, I totally forgot about this cute flower. I think this amount of paint will be enough for it. And we are done with flowers. Let's color the leaves. First I'm going to add the most dark tone. Now I'm going to add the lightest one and then I will blend everything with water. I decided to add one more shade and now finally I'm going to blend everything with water. I never tried watercolor markers before, this is my very first time and I'm pretty happy with what I see. Also, I want to try to draw with them without using the brush with water and use them just like alcohol markers. So, this piece is almost done. I want to add some extra line art with a brush pen. Sorry, I haven't filmed the whole line art process because I didn't want the video to be too long. Here how it looks with line art and now I'm going to add some highlights with white jelly roll pen. I really like how it looks now and I could left it like that without any highlights, but I wanna do it, so why not? So this marker works like watercolor paints. You can reactivate them with water if you want to or leave them like that. And I'm very happy with the quality of these markers, with their brush nibs and with the amount of beautiful colors. And I'm definitely going to use them more and they will make more pieces so stay tuned for that if you are interested. Especially I like to do watercolor pieces with a black line art on top. It gives it more graphic and finished look. So if you are looking for nice watercolor brush markers, check out this brand. 
I will put the link to the description box below. And thank you for watching, the piece is done, I hope you like how it came out, and if you do, don't forget to click thumbs up, leave comments below, and subscribe to my channel to not miss next video. I love all of you, see you next time, bye bye!